Have you always wanted to be a trainer, but you do not know where to start or how to start? Or maybe you don't know whether you're qualified for that kind of job or not. Well, you're in luck because I'm going to be talking about that next. Welcome back. And so you want to be a trainer. So congratulations for taking the first step into moving towards this career or this kind of job of uh, training or developmental learning of other people. So first things first, maraming nagtatanong sa akin, um, madali bang maging trainer? Okay, kaya ko ba yan? Okay, so there are many considerations that you have to think about before we are able to answer that question. So pag-usapan natin yung mga yun isa-isa. The first question that I get asked about training is, is training the same as teaching? Oh, tinanong nga ba sa sarili ninyo yun? So before I answer that question, let me just tell you that I have a high regard for those people in the teaching industry. Okay, so di ba, you've probably heard of that saying or that statement na teaching is not a profession, it's actually a vocation. Okay, so I agree with that and, and why do I believe in it passionately as well? Kasi galing ako sa isang long line of teachers. So that being said, babalikan ko ngayon yung tanong kanina na pareho ba ang training sa teaching? So the answer to that question is, hindi sila pareho. I mean, if, if you've heard of the statement, um, two peas uh, uh, in the same pod, so parang ganun yun. No? So ang teaching sa training, they are two peas in the same pod. So, kumbaga parang umbrella yan. Pareho silang about learning, about um, educating, about developmental um, uh, endeavors. Okay? Pero, they are not two exactly the same piece in the same pod. Pareho lang sila ng pod, pero magkaiba sila in certain aspects. So, let me talk about that really quickly. Okay? Ang teaching, essentially, it's, it's really the transfer of uh, information. No? So, from, from from the teacher giving uh, information to the students or the learners. So, and ang mga teachers, uh, generally, or um, as, as the case may be, in, in, in most cases, I mean, meron yung mga pagkakataon na magsisimula sila sa tabula rasa. So, tabula rasa is a uh, uh, blank slate. So, kumbaga, yun yung, syempre, prep or kinder ka, di ba? Tapos pumasok sa eskwelahan, wala kang alam. Eh, kasi nga, uh, baby ka pa, ba? So, yun yung uh, task ng teaching. It is, um, kumbaga, kumbaga sa empty vessel, lalagyan nila ng laman or dun nga, going back to tabula rasa, yung blanco na slate na, na pisara. Wow! Pisara! Yung blanco na board or, or paper for that matter, um, susulatan nila yon para magkaroon ka ng kaalaman or ng information. So, yun yung teaching. So, it's really generally gearing towards the um, provision or providing of information that you most likely do not have or do not possess. Okay? So, tinutulungan kayo or tinuturuan kayo ng mga teachers para magkaroon kayo ng information or ng kaalaman. So, that is um, um, siguro the simplest way of saying what a teacher would do in terms of um, yung ginagawa ng profession or ng vocation nila. That's for teaching or how I would see it. Ngayon, itong training, paano naman siya? So, if, if teachers actually teach skills in information, does that mean that trainers don't do that? We also do that. As trainers, ginagawa din namin yun. Nagturo din tayo ng mga skills. No? So those are usually the, the hard or technical skills in terms of learning. So maaaring we'll teach you kanwari, how to do layers in Adobe Photoshop or how to concatenate. How to concatenate! <laughs> how to concatenate um, five different cells or into one uh, main cell in Excel or kunwari, um, how to uh, close a sale or how to process a certain document, etc. So, meron ding aspeto ng teaching, ang training. But, there is an additional or extra step or extra task na ginagawa ng training. And if I may say that this is going to be placed at the heart or in the, in the middle, of being a trainer, ito yung uh, skill or the knowledge of facilitation. Okay? Kasi, kung kanina sinabi ko na yung mga teachers, uh, sila generally, nag nagiging audience nila or students are those with tabula rasa or walang alam. Kaya nga naging studyante ng ganitong subject kasi hindi nila alam yun. No? And ituturo sa ng teacher. Sa training, medyo almost always iba yan. No? Unless it's a technical um, 
skill that uh, that's being taught. No? But in general, if you undergo a training, especially a workshop for that matter, or seminar nga, pag umatend ka nun, ang mga estudyante generally meron na silang, uh, what's the right term that I'm looking for? It's called a wealth of experiences and knowledge. So, ang tinuturuan or ang audience ng trainer, not necessarily tabila rasa or coming or, or starting from scratch. So, meron na yung mga alam about a certain thing. So, kunwari, nagkaroon ng workshop about leadership. Uh, almost always, ang mga pinapadala dyan, eh, may mga konting kaalaman about being a leader or they may have had experience being a supervisor and kaya sila pinapatin sa management training is because para lang madagdagan ang kaalaman nila, ma-enhance, ma-improve so that they will become better sales managers in the future. So, yun yung difference. So, from tabula rasa into something uh, na meron ng laman. Kumbaga, may sulat na yung kanilang uh, pisaka. <laughs> yung word nila may sulat na. So, kumbaga, you will help them uh, manage and process those information and add on to it yun yung karagdagang information or task na ginagawa ng isang trainer. So, ano ba bali ang mga qualifications or requirements para maging isang trainer? So, I will give you a couple that um, I, I know of. Okay? And, and this is not an exhaustive uh, list, but these are just some that should get you started. So, number one, pag-usapan natin yung educational background. Okay? So, syempre, pagka mag apply ka sa corporate, okay, as a trainer, ang normally, not, if, if, if you look at maybe Job Street or Caliber, okay, or LinkedIn, makikita ninyo ang qualifications karamihan ng mga trainers ay behavioral science. Okay, so psychology, even social sciences. Kasi nga, it has to do with dealing with a lot of people and helping them actually develop. Yun nga, going back to what I said earlier, it's about facilitating their uh, wealth of knowledge and experiences. So, hindi pwedeng wala ka nung uh, background in, in behavioral sciences. Okay, another possible background mo kapag ikaw ay trainer, pwede ding management. No? Kasta, like office management, or, or like in my case, ang background ko, uh, public administration. Marami akong... Uh, uh, units ng psychology okay, back in college. So, um, ano pa, no? Tsaka kung ang posisyon mo ay technical trainer, kinuha kang technical trainer, kailangan meron ka nung corresponding technical expertise or background. So, for example, gagawin ka nilang um, trainer ng Six Sigma, o dapat, ano ka, black belt ka doon, no? or certified ka ng Six Sigma, or kung nga rin, pagtuturoin ka nila ng, uh, ng isang design software. So, at the very least, kailangan uh, may certification ka, maybe ng AutoCAD or, or, or kung, kung, kung creative design yan. Siguro, mga Photoshop or Illustrator, etc. So, depende rin yung background mo. Especially kung very specific siya to a certain um, training that you are gonna conduct. So, just one more. So, halimbawa, gusto mong maging trainer ng uh, Philippine Airlines. Yan yan, for the flight attendants. Ah, kailangan din. May experience ka na hindi pwedeng magte-training ka lang based on yung nabasa mo sa libro or yung binigay sa'yo na handbook. Kailangan meron ka ding experience into, uh, of, of becoming a flight attendant. May flight hours ka din. Okay? Para you will be able to connect it to your experience when you're already doing your training. But now that we've gotten that out of the way, yung educational background and qualification, let's talk about uh, general skills and traits that you should have in order for you to fit well in the career or vocation of being a trainer. So, pag-isapan natin yung una, siguro pinaka-importante, yung um, unending learning. So, despite the fact na meron ka ng baccalaureate or master's or even a doctorate on a certain subject matter, hindi yun enough. Kasi if you are a trainer, kailangan, uh, you're like a sponge. Okay, so, kasi nag evolve ka throughout time. Okay, so, I guess I would also add to the trait yung adaptability. Okay, kasi nga, so, nag naglo-learn ka uh, as, you, as you move on forward, nagbabasa ka ng mga bagong books, ng mga bagong developments in learning. I mean, I mean even even your jokes, would, would, if, if you're the joker type, ano, even yung mga jokes mo, syempre, dapat na, nag-a-adjust ka din. So, di ba, hindi pa din yung mga jokes mo, uh, mga mga panchito, saka Dolphy, tapos yung mga attendees mo, millennials, they'll be like, who's that? Yeah. So, kailangan nag-evolve ka rin. Tapos, diba, yung mag- kailangan ano ka din, um, sumasabay ka sa technology, kumbaga. So, halimbawa, uh, dapat meron kang mga Spotify playlist. Yeah. Tapos, kailangan yung music mo nag-a-adapt din yun, depending on your attendees. Okay? So, let me circle back to unending learning. Okay? Aside from you being a uh, 
a provider of information or a teacher for that matter, kailangan you are also always willing to be taught. So, punta ka sa mga seminars, whether they are uh, open or public seminars or they are uh, free or yung may bayad, pumunta ka doon, tapos magbasa ka ng maraming books, i-consult with your fellow trainers and then ask them um, how it is now in the industry. Okay, magbasa ka sa internet, di ba? So, huwag mong siyakan yung internet mo, <laughs> yung access mo sa wealth of information. Uh, so, gamitin mo siya para makapag- um, uh, refresh and enrich ka ng iyong information which you will be able to uh, use for your future training programs. Oh, speaking of um, learning, syempre, kailangan marunong ka din ng isang requirement sa mga trainers na dapat marunong kang gumawa ng or mag-perform ng TNA or Training Needs Analysis or Training Needs Assessment. Um, although, um, recently, nagkaroon ng development doon na yung T naging D. So, naging Developmental Needs Analysis. They're essentially the same. So, ano ba tong uh, trait? Ah, sorry, na trait. Ano ba tong skill na or kailangan mong matutunan about TNA. Kailangan, alam mo yung mga adult learning principles, you know, how to address them, okay? So, merong mga courses in, out there that you can undergo. Like, top of mind, I, I could think of na pinagdaanan ko when I was just a newbie back in 2000, basta. <laughs> Uh, it was called Training the Trainers or Train the Trainers Program. So, sobrang nakatulong yun kasi uh, nagbigay sila ng uh, information, ng, ng, ng knowledge in terms of how, uh, as a trainer, I will be able to assess and analyze the developmental needs of uh, um, the, the trainees uh, depending on their different learning styles and based on different adult learning theories. Tapos, paano mo siya ngayon gagawa ng programa? Which brings me to the next na criteria. No, na kailangan, alam mo, kailangan marunong ka ng program design. So, hindi ka lang basta-basta nagka-cut and paste. No? Di ba? Hindi ka lang magkukuha ng, na, hindi ka lang kukuha ng certain slide, tapos nagawa ka lang ng mga bullet points. Okay? So, meron tayong tinatawag na concept na kailangan. May psychological flow siya, may framework yan. Kailangan, uh, alam mo kung ano ang objective nitong portion ng module na to. Okay? Tapos, gano'n ba yan katagal uh, gagawin? Is it a 5-minute slide? Is it a 10-minute uh, presentation? Is it going to be interactive highly? Or is it going to be a straight lecture? Is it going to be an open forum type Q&A interspersed with it? So, maraming mga considerations. And training needs analysis and program design will actually help you get started. Kasi yun yung mga kailangan mong alam bago ka makapagsimula into making your very first program as a trainer. I also want to add expertise or being a subject matter expert as well as credibility. So actually, medyo nabanggit ko na yung kanina no? in terms of pagka-technical trainer ka, kailangan meron kang technical know-how or technical uh, background or certification. So, importante yung expertise mo. Okay? Kasi, now, you may you may have heard of the concept book smart versus street smart. So, if you're a trainer, kailangan meron kang healthy balance ng dalawa. Okay? So, hindi pwedeng maabilidad ka lang. Okay? Kasi, ang credibilidad, hindi yan nakukuha lang sa pagbabasa ng books. I mean, it's one thing for you to read something on the internet or from a brochure, from a manual, or uh, from uh, an instructional kit. And it's another for you to actually, one, be certified in it, and two, to actually have experience dabbling into that kind of subject matter. Idadagdag ko dyan yung uh, communication skills and presentation skills. But I'm not saying na kailangan na hyper-fluent ka in terms of speaking in English. No, but well, it doesn't hurt if you are actually quite fluent in uh, speaking English because English is, as you all know, the default uh, language of instruction or language of business. So, ganun din perka training. So, almost always, English talaga yung um, medium na ginagamit natin sa pagtuturo during training. Okay? But that being said, kailangan, going back to adaptability, paano ang mga train mo, mga rank and file or yung mga taga mga taga-far-flung areas, pinadala ka doon kasi gano'n nga magtuturo ka ng agribusiness, yun yan. So, syempre yung mga ano, hindi sila magagaling masyado mag-English. So, people feel baka intimidated because English ay rangfarag ka, tapos sila, medyo hirap sila. At dahil na-intimidate sila, that will preclude them from actually sharing in in the discussion later on. No? So, kailangan, uh, I guess when I say communication skills, kailangan you are able to communicate properly. Meaning, um, you can express uh, well and with clarity yung gusto mong thought na i-impart sa kanila and you are also able to listen properly, effectively, efficiently and you're able to process that information that you got from them para makapag-communicate ka sa kanila effectively. 
Oh, next, presentation skills. Ang yung presentation skills. So, yung kailangan siyempre para ano yun eh. Ang, kaya nga ako, meron akong isang title eh, that I have self um, crowned myself. <laughs> I, I call myself Ben Redula Enter Trainer. Kasi sa paningin ko, ang training, it's like the entertainment industry. So, kailangan marunong kang mag-entertain. Kasi there had been studies that show that students or trainees who attend a program wherein they felt like they were entertained, mas matagal ang, uh, or mas mahaba ang retention noong kanilang bagong information or bagong skill na natutunan. Kasi nga, they felt like they were just having fun. Okay? Hindi yung parang dumutukoy yung mga ilong nila kasi nga yung mga pinag-uusapan ninyo sobrang technical ay yun nga technical na tapos napaka monotonous or boring mo pa so you need to be able to present well it's like you are going um, center stage okay? either you're singing kunwari or you are acting on stage and you, you are taking the limelight to a certain extent kailangan marunong ka nun. so hindi ka pwedeng mayayin takot sa tao I also wanna add yung na-mention ko na to earlier ano, when I talked about Spotify kailangan ikaw ay tech savvy so kailangan marunong ka mag-adjust dun sa mga developments or changes in uh, the industry in terms of technology so always be able to uh, adapt so kunwari ngayon uso na rin ang gamifying so what does that mean yung ini-insertan mo ng element of uh, a game ang iyong training so halimbawa meron na yung mga mga app software or websites like Kahoot Uh, meron din tayong mga online in uh, real-time poll like Mentimeter. Okay, so, kailangan open ka into technology. Hindi pwedeng, ay hindi, ito lang yung gumagana. This is what I have been used to. Okay, so, it circles back to yung sinabi ko kanina na trait na kailangan adaptable ka. Okay, and the very first that I said na kailangan never-ending, continuous ang iyong learning bilang isang trainer. Otherwise, napag-iiwanan ka. Okay, another trait that is very important for a trainer Well, aside from yung sinabi ko kanina na people skills, may kinalaman to sa people skills, kailangan meron kang konsepto ng humility. Okay? So, hindi dahil ikaw ang nagtuturo or nag impart ng information, ng knowledge, ng skill, eh, ikaw na yung magaling. Okay? Or ikaw na ang uh, the one and only person who is invaluable, meaning na hindi ka nagkakamali. Okay? Magkakaroon ng pagkakataon or chances or instances wherein there may be something that you will say na ininigate ng iyong uh, trainer and then um, the reality of it is tama pala siya kasi ikaw pala yung mali okay? so hindi pwedeng magmatas ka no? nasabi mo ah hindi basta tama ako ikaw mali trainer ka lang there's no such thing like that so, kasi nga sabi ko going back to what I said from the very beginning as trainers you are encountering and teaching people who are joining your class with the wealth wealth of experiences and knowledge okay? so kailangan mong respetuhin yung kanilang expertise experience yung mga kaalaman nila Okay, and isasama mo yun dun sa discussion. Hindi ka dapat laging debate mode okay, bilang trainer. Kasi nga, ang concept nga or ang task mo as I mentioned in the very first few sections of this vlog is facilitation. Okay? So, ikaw ang kumbaga moderator ka, so to speak. Okay? As, as I have mentioned in, in one of my previous uh, vlogs, meron mga instances wherein you will actually need to agree to disagree. Pero, hindi nga siya applicable sa lahat ng mga pagkakataon. So, meron mga uh, instances na kailangan mong i-correct kung mali sila. At kung ikaw ang mali, kailangan ikaw yung mag-giveaway. Yun yung essence or yun yung importansya ng pagkakaroon ng humility bilang isang trainer. But now, I'm saving uh, the best for last. No? My last uh, two or so na traits na kailangan mo to be a trainer. So, um, every time I would hire assistant trainers or training specialists, training officers, lumalapit sila sa akin, tapos tinatanong nila, Sir Ben, paano po ba magiging Ben Redula? Okay? Uh, it's really very flattering, but you know, I would always answer them this. Ang sinasabi ko, there's no way that you can be a Ben Redula because there's only one Ben Redula. Okay? And you can't be me. And kahit gayahin mo lahat ng mga idiosinkrasis ko, eh kahit kopyahin mo ang aking sariling script, or yung mga ginagamit kong materials and aking mga jokes, you will never be me because there's only one me. And that being said, I will tell those trainers uh, my nugget of knowledge. O yung, yung advice ko sa kanila, don't be like me, be yourself. Okay? Kasi unique ka eh. Meron kang sariling strengths, meron kang sariling style, meron kang uh, sariling mga approach, discarte, and that is what you need to hone. Okay? So, huwag kang kumopya ng, ng style or, or ng, um, ng everything. 
ng isang tao no kumbaga pwede siya maging inspiration no yung kumari, ah ito it works for him na na si Serbian pala may lib na comedyante siya or or, or si Ma'am din ito ano siya um, magaling siya kasi kumakanta siya yung mga ganun so so pwede kang kumuha ng inspiration but you should never strive to be a clone of a trainer because that will not do you any good Okay, so, kailangan meron kang sariling diskarte, meron kang sariling personality. You need to be your own trainer. And last but not the least, it is very important that you actually have a strong set of values. I mean, hindi ako magmamalinis dito. No? I'm not perfect. I'm not uh, sinless. Okay? Ang sinasabi ko lang ganito, if you're a trainer, meron kang pinoprotektahan na um, reputation. You know, people talk. No? So, so don't give them something that they are going to talk about, which is negative. No? So, halimbawa, top of mind, kung nagtuturo ka ng values, no, you're talking about integrity, eh, hindi pwedeng sinungaling ka. Eh, o hindi pwedeng you, you don't keep your word, you don't have word of honor, or, or wala yun. In, in essence, wala kang integridad. Kasi nga, as I mentioned in the earlier portion of this um, vlog, importante yung my credibility ka. And if you do not walk your talk, you are never going to be a credible and believable uh, and effective trainer. So trust me on that. Right? So, medyo kailangan mong pangalagaan ang iyong um, dignity, ang iyong reputation, ang iyong pangalan if you are going to enter the field of training and well. So there you have it. I hope I was able to help you uh, think about the answer to your question of whether you are fit or qualified to be a trainer or not. Okay? And if you have any other further questions, please uh, comment in the comment section below and uh, ask away and I'll be very much willing to help. I really hope that you join me and the rest of the growing community of uh, moderators, facilitators, and trainers. So from here in One Rockwell West Tower, I wish you well. I hope that you are safe, healthy, loved, and are using your skills and talents to be able to help someone learn new information and knowledge. I'll see you in my next vlog. This is PJ Pentong. If you like this video, please click like, share it on your social media, and if you haven't yet, click subscribe and that bell.